Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strong of the Cast Iron Cookware Channel, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. We're starting a series called Cast Iron Cookware Answers. And I'm going to be taking questions that I've received in the comments and doing my best to answer them. So we're going to be doing that coming right up. Okay, before we get started, I just want to say I hope that you have enjoyed my videos. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking on the little, little arrow button right here and uh, it'll pop up and you can subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way when new videos come out, you will be informed when they do. That way you won't miss out on anything. So I appreciate you for subscribing and being a part of this channel. So let's get to the questions. Question number one, why did you start a YouTube channel? Well, I can just thank my daughter Lindsay Dix for that. She has a YouTube channel herself where she does makeup and beauty tutorials. I'll leave a link to her channel below. But my daughter said, Dad, why don't you just make a couple of videos and put them on there and just see what people think about them. She knows that I love cast iron cookware because I've been collecting for about four years or so and, and I really love it. And I enjoy sharing and uh, helping other people learn more about it. So she gave me the idea and tell you what, it has took on a life of itself. I didn't have any ideas that it would do like it has. So I want to thank all my subscribers for helping it to grow. Everybody who has watched videos, commented, and been a part of this channel, I appreciate you so much. So question number two, where did you learn all about cast iron cookware? Well, that's kind of a trick question because I haven't learned all about cast iron cookware. I've only been collecting about four or five years now, so I'm not an expert by no means at all. But I love cast iron cookware, and I've learned a lot from the experts that are out there. First thing I did, I joined some Facebook groups. Uh, I got on probably 10 or 15 different groups and I read and I watched and I listened and I learned a lot that way. Uh, some of the groups that I'm a part of now that I really like, I'll leave the links to them below. And also there's books that I have purchased that's helped me a lot too. The uh, Griswold and Wagner books, the dating on the prices is a little bit off, but there's still information there telling you the numbers and kind of what to look for. So those have been very helpful too and I'll leave a link to them below as well. So question number three. In the wild videos, why do you leave so many pieces behind? Well I'm telling you that is hard to do. You know I want to take them all with me. The biggest question is the money. <laughs> you know I would buy everything I get my hands on sometimes but I really can't afford it. But I do manage to take home two or three pieces when I go to a place. And I'm thankful that I'm able to do that. And as time goes, hopefully I'll be able to take more. But that's the number one bottom line. You know, the budget, you know, you got to watch the budget. You know, you don't want to spend all your lunch money. I know I need to lose some weight, but I don't need to just quit eating altogether. So that's the number one reason. So let's get on to question number four. So question number four, can you please, and I've heard this from a lot of people, can you please quit putting background music on your videos? Now in my first videos, I didn't have very good playback technique. I was filming everything on my cell phone and I've got an old outdated laptop that I'm trying to do the editing on and so the quality is pretty bad. But it gets better and as time went along, I got where the music was a little less loud and it was a little less annoying. I've had people tell me it's a little bit on the annoying side and I understand, I appreciate it. You know, I can take constructive criticism. I want to make the channel better. And if you have ideas to make it better, let me know and I'll do my best to do it. So uh, I have been cutting the music down and trying to cut the music where you don't really notice it's there. But on the last video, the Hunting Cast Iron Cookware in the Wild episode 7, I took the music out completely except for the intro and the ending. And I'm probably going to start doing that on all the videos. As you notice, there's not any music in this one right now except for the intro and there'll be a little music as it rolls out. So I think that's going to be a good idea. It's going to take away the distracting part. Now if I'm doing some cooking and I'm you know showing the pot boil, I may have some music playing while I'm not talking. But when I'm talking I want to more or less cut the music out. 
So thank you for the suggestions from uh, some of my subscribers for mentioning. Please cut down the music or take it out altogether. So thank you guys and we'll just see how that works. Question number five, and this will be my last question. In the wild videos, do you get paid by the stores for doing the videos? And the answer is, no, I don't. I don't ask for pay. I don't ask for anything. I basically do it as a mutual exposure type of thing. They need some exposure when it comes to advertising, and I need some exposure to help my channel grow. They share my videos with their friends, their family, and their groups, while I share their store with my family, my friends, and people in my groups. So it's kind of a mutual beneficial type thing, and we all get to look at the cast iron. So that's just kind of the way I planned on doing it. It's not about money, it's about the education and learning and having fun. So I hope that you've enjoyed the answers that I've given you. So if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask in the comments. I'll do my very best to answer them as good as I possibly can. Remember, there are no stupid questions, only stupid answers, and I'll try my best to not do that. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell too. Because what I've learned, even if you have subscribed and a new video comes out, YouTube may not let you know it. You're only going to know it if you have the notification bell on, so you'll be informed when it does come out. I'm going to try to put one of these videos out once a week, maybe Monday, and I'm shooting for the bigger videos on Fridays. I'm going to try to get a little more regular, and it's kind of hard working a full-time job and doing this too, but I'm working at it. So thank you again for watching the Cast Iron Cookware channel. Mm -hmm.